Okay, Brian Hendricks working on the thread box and we're getting these ears ready to do. We're going to put the ear liners in there. I've got them dried out now the way I want with the blow dryer there. It's fairly dry. It's got most of the moisture out of those ears now. And first, sir, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these cartilages now. And to paint those, I'm using um, Poly Transpar water base. Okay. And the first thing I'm I've been using a 50-50 mixture of the Sienna and the Gill Red. And it's it's pretty accurate, I think, for the Fox. But my bottle here, recently, I mixed just a little bit of a Deer Ear Medium in there just to mellow it out a little bit. And it seems to be a little bit better for the Bobcats. So rather than have two bottles, I'm just using the one. So anyway, 50-50 mixture of those two. And then I've added a little bit of that just to mellow it out. And when you do this, it's going to look pretty intense when you first put it on there. But remember, it's got to show, it's going to show through that cartilage once the, uh, once the ear dries. It bleeds through, the color bleeds through and shows through the cartilage. So it's got to be a little bit intense in order to show through there. So, and I'm just taking a Q-tip and just kind of rolling it right onto that cartilage. Careful, you don't get it in the fur. And I'm putting it on there pretty heavy. And it's going to dry pretty quick because, like I say, we've already taken most of the moisture out of that cartilage. So it's going to absorb right onto that cartilage. Just a little bit more there, I guess. And I go down there a ways. That's probably far enough. So there's the cartilage painted. So I will do the other ear. And the next step then will be actually epoxying those in. So I'm going to get the other ear painted up. And then I'll get my epoxy ready. And we'll be back to actually put an ear liner in.